Walking into the fanciest jewelry shops feels like stepping into a place of super fancy stuff. There, you see these amazing diamonds that sparkle even more than the night sky. While you're checking out the cool jewelry, you start thinking, who are the super skilled people making these beautiful gems into awesome pieces? In today's video, we dive into the world's fanciest jewelry stores. These places don't just have really pretty jewels, they're also super fancy inside, making you feel like you're in a world of luxury. The sparkly gems and the lush surroundings create a feeling that's hard to describe, like a treat for your senses if you really love this stuff. So, let's jump right in and see what these amazing places have to offer. But before we continue, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any amazing and entertaining content. Tiffany and Company In the heart of New York City's Soho District, where Tiffany and Company unveiled its newest boutique in 2012. This opulent space, crafted by skilled artisans, stands as a testament to the brand's unwavering commitment to elegance. As you step into this place, it's not just a store. It's a showcase of Tiffany and Company's dedication to creating something truly luxurious. Explore the intricate details that make this Tiffany & Company store a symbol of timeless luxury, and you'll feel the essence of their craftsmanship and devotion to sophistication. Harry Winston Fifth Avenue Our journey takes us to the legendary Fifth Avenue in New York City, where you'll find the dazzling Harry Winston Boutique. It's not just a store, it's like a jewelry paradise. Step inside, and it's more than just beautiful pieces, there's a fancy lounge area that makes you feel like you're in the lap of luxury. It's not just about buying jewelry, it's about being part of something sophisticated and special. The Harry Winston Boutique isn't just a place to shop, it's an invitation to soak up the pinnacle of elegance, making you feel all fancy and chic. Bulgari Bond Street Crossing the Atlantic, our journey takes us to the renowned Bond Street in London where Bulgari underwent a significant transformation under the guidance of American architect Peter Marino. This place has some history the entrance, once walked by Hollywood stars like Elizabeth Taylor and Kirk Douglas, got a fresh start. It's not just a store, it's like stepping into a piece of history. Get ready to discover the secrets of this spot, where the past meets the present in a swanky Bulgari style. It's not just about buying things, it's about feeling the vibes of a place that has seen some glamorous moments and has now been given a new breath of life by the talented Peter Marino. Van Cleef and Arpels Dubai Mall Back in 2014, Van Cleef and Arpels marked a decade in the Middle East with the grand reopening of their flagship store at the Dubai Mall. It's not just a store, it's like a celebration of 10 years of bringing beauty to the region. Walk into this place, and you'll see more than just jewelry, there are special pieces that were on display during the reopening, limited editions that make you feel part of something exclusive. Join us in discovering the grandeur of this location, unraveling the elegance and charm of Van Cleef and Arpels right in the heart of Dubai. It's not just about buying things, it's about being part of a story that's been unfolding for 10 glamorous years in the Middle East. Piaget Place Venmi now, our journey takes a romantic turn to the legendary streets of Paris, landing us at the iconic place Venmi, where Piaget went all out with a four-month renovation to make its biggest and fanciest store. It's not just a shop, it's like stepping into a world of luxury and elegance. Join us in feeling the essence of sophistication and glamour at Piaget's flagship spot. It's not just about buying things, it's about being part of a place that's been given a touch of magic, making you experience the peak of fancy and chic right in the heart of Paris. Faberg Mayfair In the charm of Mayfair, London, Faberg found a new home in 2011 after almost a century. It's not just a store, it's like witnessing the comeback of a Russian jewelry legend right in the heart of London. Join us in feeling the pulse of Faberg's legacy as it comes alive again, exploring the one-of-a-kind designs that make Faberg stand out from the rest. It's more than just buying pretty things. It's about being part of a journey that brings back a touch of history and uniqueness to the vibrant streets of Mayfair. Cartier Cartier started in Paris in 1847. It's a famous jeweler known for making crowns for kings and tiaras for today's royals. The LOVA collection and tank collection are two popular sets with a mix of old charm and new style. 
These pieces carry the history of kings and the glam of today's royalty. Cartier's jewelry isn't just fancy, it's like a tale told with shiny gems and special metals. It's about feelings and stories that sparkle with the forever magic of human connections. Lorraine Schwartz. Step into the world of Lorraine Schwartz diamonds and fine jewelry, a brand that became a big deal 10 years ago. Feel the star power as Hollywood's top names, like Halle Berry and Beyonce Knowles, wear Schwartz's creations. Her designs mix fancy looks with a touch of you can't have this, making them a strong symbol of fame and glamour. It's not just about pretty jewelry, it's like wearing a piece of the dazzling world of celebrities. The sparkle isn't just in the diamonds, it's in the feeling of being a part of something exclusive and glamorous. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.